Hello everyone, welcome back to Hero Wars Guide. We got a game data update today, so I want to go over the new schedule as well as a quick look at a few of the game data updates. Starting off first, we have Spring Birth starting tonight on Hero Wars Web. I like this event quite a bit. This is one where you get keys and you get a random prize from a board of tiles. There are a couple of grand prizes and you can choose to refresh the board after you hit any of the grand prize options. They tend to throw different prizes in there. I wouldn't be totally surprised if we saw something related to light and dark titans for this go around. So the, the exact value of the prizes I think will remain a mystery until the event goes live. But generally speaking, the cost of this event maxing out at 60,000 emeralds is not as high as some. Uh, in the return for what you're spending, if you're interested in a pretty good portion of the random prizes that are possible, then the return for spending on this one is pretty good and it's also nice and, and relatively even throughout there are some huge payouts for the early milestones but then it stays pretty strong for the rest of the curve without a pronounced peak uh, at any of like the mid to late range of the event so it, it's a pretty good one for spending uh, as long as you're interested in a, a pretty good percentage of the possible prizes the other note, uh, shy of a full video on this topic, is that the tower has 65 in just a three-day event, so hopefully you've not already run that uh, if you're somewhere where you can get a, an extra day out of the event. With the fourth day, you only have to pay 50 emeralds to open up five chests to complete this thing. Otherwise, it gets to be pretty expensive. All right, and then following Spring Rebirth, uh, we will have immediately on the end of that event, we have Time of the Fearless which is coming a little bit earlier than we usually see it in most months. Uh, it will almost definitely be accompanied by the Forex sale as usual. And I expect that most of you watching are very familiar with this event, so I won't cover it in any more detail. And we'll just move on to those game data updates. All right, starting here, we have just a few new avatars coming to the game. I believe those are gonna be prizes for completing most of the tasks in the Easter event or Spring Rebirth event, I should say. Then this one here is probably the most interesting of all of the changes. This skill here, uh, it, I don't think it calls out the owner of it uh, individually here, but this is referring to the new uh, Dark Super Titans abilities. I'm not certain whether this is a change to the mechanic or if it was already seven seconds and this is just an update to the text in the game. But the old tooltip said that the curse lasted for six seconds, and during that curse takes some damage, and I believe healing vampirism is done to the allied team. But it looks like that skill is moving from six to seven seconds, which is interesting because early reports on the effectiveness of the Super Titan suggested that she was pretty strong to begin with. I saw a Tournament of Elements fight where a dark and fire team beat the earth lord on full auto so that would suggest to me that she was not necessarily in desperate need of upgrade but it looks like she's getting one all right and then just a few other items uh, it looks like possibly some of the buffs within the clash of worlds map are being changed uh, i don't know if this is going right in immediately or if this is some kind of label update as well so I won't spend any more time on this until I figure it out, uh, other than to point out there may be something there. Maybe you'll find it before I do. All right, and then we have, uh, there'll be some Easter bundles coming, and we also have this added here. This UI special offer, special offer, is uh, what they use to describe the 4X sale. And this one is another one being added to the schedule. I believe that there were already two added to the game data last time around, which would have covered the one-day sale we had earlier, as well as uh, the time of the fearless that we have coming right up. So I think it's possible that there may be another 4X later in the month. I wouldn't 100% bet on it, but I think this suggests that there could be another one coming. And then finally, the last thing I wanted to call out uh, and this one is, is really strange to me. I don't know if this is an error or uh, if this is just retroactive. Um, well, I don't, I'm not really clear on why they would do this, but they added an event to the schedule for last June. And I don't know if this is supposed to be a very early placeholder for the event coming up this coming June and they just put in the wrong year uh, or what this one's about. 
But in any case, this one is the Legacy of the Great Ones event. It's not really clear from any of these labels here, uh, these keys, but this is gonna translate to Legacy of the Great Ones. We have been seeing that event, I think, a lot more often than we used to, uh, and maybe we'll be seeing it again as early as uh, the beginning of June, or again, maybe this truly is meant to just be some retro retroactive aligning their books sort of thing. We'll keep an eye on that and see where it goes. All right, so that's all I had for today. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.